I got a Lego set that I was not expecting to get. What's up Lego fans? Welcome to my channel, Pete's Bricks, the Lego channel for the common Lego fan. And today we are going to get into a Lego Christmas 2022 haul video. Pretty much every year of my life, I have received some Lego for Christmas and this year is no exception. I got some really great sets this year that I'm really excited to show you guys in today's haul video. Before we get right into the haul, please like, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It only takes one second and it would really help me out a lot. First of all, I got some avatar sets. As you can see, I already built this set. I couldn't wait uh, for the video to leave it sealed. Um, this is the uh, set 75572, Jake and Neytiri's first Banshee flight. You get the two Banshee, you get that really cool environment kind of stand that you could uh, put them both on. There's a picture. It's just kind of like these rocks. Fantastic set, I gotta say. And I already built this. The Lego Avatar sets are very underrated. Um, I only saw the first Avatar movie a few weeks ago, right before I went to go see the second one. I think they're fine films. I think the draw to them, of course, is the visual effects. Just the look and feel of Pandora. The effort they put into building the world, I think is very good. I might do a review for this set. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. It is a fantastic set. I'm so happy I got this for Christmas. Uh, moving on to another set that I was very surprised to get. It's the Gift with Purchase Santa's Workshop. So yeah, I got this somehow. My only problem is that I'm not sure if I want to open this or leave this sealed in the box. Yeah, I have a few sealed sets, but I don't know, it's Christmas, I like Christmas. I mean, this box is in perfect condition. Do I want to take the value off just by opening it? I know I did that before, I did a video. I opened that Forest Man gift with purchase and I also opened, what else did I open? Ray the Castaway, check out that video right above. I opened those seals and I built the sets. Um, all that value just kind of went away. So do I want to do it with this one? Maybe. Let me know in the comments, should I open this rare GWP or should I leave it sealed? Next up, I got another free set. It is this train. Um, it's just a poly bag, not super rare. I will be opening this, of course. Not gonna leave this sealed. Um, it's a nice Christmas train. It'll look good in my future Christmas displays. You can check out this year's Christmas display at the link above, of course, but I will be opening this for sure. Next up, we have another Avatar set. This is set 75574, Taruk Makto and the Tree of Souls. I am very excited to build this. I have not opened it yet. You get the Tree of Souls, you get this large red bird thing, which is bigger than the ones you get in this set. You get tons of minifigures. You get, well, four minifigures, but I know, I'm not sure. I think two are at least exclusive, maybe three. I'm really excited. I mean, just check out this tree. It has all the translucent pink and purple pieces. These antenna, you get the lilac purple at the top. Those kind of glow in the dark-ish looking parts right at the base of the tree. You, you get a uh, six-legged horse, alien horse. How cool is that? I do know this set is pretty expensive, but I, I really was surprised that I got it. It looks great. Of course, you get some rocks in the background that connect to the rocks in this other set. So I have quite a few Avatar sets now. I probably will make a Avatar display with this set, with this set, and another unexpected set that you might not think would work with Avatar, but I'm thinking it does. So super happy to get this set. It's probably going to be a 10 out of 10 once I build it. Next, we have some other sets that I already opened because I couldn't wait. I got a complete set of series 23 of the Lego minifigures. I'm super excited to get these. Finally, I have never seen them in any Lego store that I've visited. I only saw them once and they had already been picked over and they had a few that I really wasn't that interested in. So I decided, oh, they'll just restock them and I'll come back and I'll buy them all and I'll feel the ones I want. But no, um, I've never seen them in a Lego store. I don't know why. Do they get them in and people go nuts and just buy all of them? I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I've also never seen them at Target or Walmart or 
anywhere. I'm very happy to get this series. This series has some great minifigures. Right here on the bag, you can see the Nutcracker, the Elf Girl, the guy in the turkey suit, just some of my favorites. A lot of LEGO YouTubers have had these for a while. They've made their reviews, their breakdowns. I'm not sure what I could say about these. Maybe you'll see a review, maybe not. And lastly, I got a LEGO set that I was not expecting to get at all. This is the most unexpected LEGO set of Christmas this year. The most expensive, the most large, the most wanted LEGO set of 2023 for me. A set I've wanted for a long time. This is a set that I have never seen in any LEGO store. I go to two LEGO stores and a third one I even checked. They don't carry this theme at all, which is insane that no LEGO store has this. This had to be ordered off legoshop.com. It was in stock, then it was out of stock, then it got in stock just in time for me to get it for Christmas. Right here we have Monkey Kid the Heavenly Realm. Just just take a look at this. Like this is huge. This yeah, this is uh this is awesome. I think Monkey Kid is a vastly underrated Lego theme. I have two Monkey Kid sets right up there. I have the City of Lanterns right there the Monkey Kid HQ right there. I also have the Flower Fruit Mountain that is currently in my city, kind of off to the corner there. Um, now I have the Heavenly Realms. I could not tell you why Lego stores in America do not carry these. I know Monkey Kid was a theme Lego created, really intended for China for some reason. I guess that's a big market they really wanted to target. And you can't find these in Target. You can't find these in Walmart or any normal stores. You could only find it in the Lego store. But this entire recent wave I have never seen in the Lego store. Does it not sell well? Is it underrated like I think it is? I don't know what the issue is, but I'm very happy to get the Heavenly Realms. Um, you get tons of figures in this one. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight figures plus a celestial dog. I don't watch the Monkey Kid show, so I really don't know the story behind this or the significance of the characters. I just know a great Lego build when I see one. Something really cool about this set is that it has these clouds that when you push the front or you open the sides or something like that, the clouds part to reveal the temple. Like, I am so hyped to build this, honestly. Yeah, this is a pretty expensive set. That might be why one of the reasons maybe it doesn't sell that well, because all the Monkey Kid sets are very expensive. However, I think the LEGO designers like really put good effort into this. You might buy a superhero set and it's fine. Maybe it's not amazing, doesn't blow your mind. Every Monkey Kid set that I have has blown my mind. <sighs> However, it is big, so I am going to have to find some room in this Lego room to put it. I have no idea. This shelf up here, I'll be making a video on that display, and then this will be going into my Lego city when I redo the whole city. I'll be moving my castle, which you can't see, but it's down, down in there. Or maybe you can, kind of. It's right, right there. The big castle will be going up to the top to be my new display for my background as I work on a new scene for the castle. This, I don't know where it's going, but this is, yeah, the most unexpected, my favorite Lego set of Christmas 2023. Well, there you have a quick Lego haul. I haven't done one of these in a while. I hope you guys liked watching this. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video on my channel, Pete's Bricks. Keep building and have a good day.